It is 6.30 in the morning. Look, you're dancing on the window. I'm gonna open the door for them. We're taking a walk for a mile yep. to see just how far she had to walk every day. Do you think you're gonna be tired? Come on, you can do it. Oh, you. I don't know if I can do this. Do you want me to help? I think I'm gonna be stuck. Um, honey? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you on a swing before. Yeah, well, two hours on the phone with Sprint and drive you to do crazy things. They actually said about seven foot. Oh, about what seven they feet? That. Yeah. Yeah, so she fell on her neck, her head hit, and her back. And at first she got up, and we're like, okay, and then she fell again. And Aspen's up with me. So I didn't quite make the five yeah. o'clock, but we're up by six. Look so. out the window. Look out the window. Look out the window. What's out the window? It's gonna be nice today. We're gonna go outside all again. Right, so I am up trying to get the kids' school day prepped. I want to get all their papers that they need. We're starting to do things just slightly different. I kind of went back to what we were doing at the beginning of the school year where some of the kids did like group things together so that I'm not reading the same thing over and over if they're on it. Originally I separated them because some of the kids were having trouble sitting together in a group and doing their schoolwork together. But now that we're more into a flow, it's becoming a bit easier. Now they'll sit down, they'll listen, people aren't trying to talk over each other and they're actually listening to the material, which, making, which is making it a little easier on mom. So I wanna get in here, find out what we need to do as a group today and what things they need to do singly. So that's what I'm starting off with. Good morning. Are you eating your breakfast in the schoolroom? Look at this. He's got all his little cutting fruits and vegetables out in his little blender. Mm -hmm. We're about to start preschool, it's huh? It's working. Yeah, it needs some more batteries, you guys. But it's no. working a little bit for him. No, it doesn't need batteries. Oh, crud. I didn't put it away. Can you hear Shore? I in it. What are you making? Cuckle. You make it circles. I'm gonna do something first. So we've been doing lines for quite a while. Now Aspen is working on making circles. You have two pieces of paper. You have blue and you have green. Can you see yeah. blue? Where's blue? Blue, green. Yes, and this is blue, what? Green. What shape is this? What shape do you have? What is this? Circle. Circle. And what's this one? Do you know? A triangle. Good. So you're going to glue all of your circles on the blue circle paper and all of your triangles, oops, on the green triangle paper. Can you do that? Do we have to glue both of them on? You glue them on this paper. And then your triangles. <laughs> Your tri it is like a Mickey Mouse. Your no, triangles go on this paper. You did a good job, Aspen. You got all your circles on the circle sheet and all your triangles on the triangle sheet. It is sheet. a Mickey Mouse. Is it Mickey Mouse? All right, Ireland. So we've been working on word problems. And we're going to do one today. Let's see if you can figure this out. So a clown juggled seven red balls. Another clown tossed him five more balls. It might take you away already. How many balls was the clown juggling then? So what are you doing? Subtraction or adding. adding. Very good. What are you doing, my friend? You're dancing around on the window. They don't know where to go, but you're dancing on the window. I'm gonna open the door for them. Not that fast. Mom, will you open this? I got it. Okay, open it. 
It's moving. Can you get it open? Yeah. Let's bring it back, take a turn around the capstan, and lie to for the tide. Come high water, all hands, take a pull upon the line, and off she comes, as sweet as nature. So Braxton is working. Oh. We're using Khan Academy for our junior high and high school math right now. Negative seven, minus seven. And he is having to take a test on practice. subtracting negative numbers. Yeah, it's like a review or a practice quiz before he takes his actual, there's like a unit two quiz that he'll take when he's all done with his lessons in this particular unit. Yes. Nice. Negative eight minus negative two equals negative six. Nice. I missed one. Okay, so eight. How'd you do? 80%. Nice, eighty-six percent. Good job. I couldn't give you a high five. I couldn't see it. That's weak. All the different types of lines that were used in this portrait. Yep. Okay. Do one of the straight ones. Right there. Okay, Zane. Why don't you go ahead and try to find a curved line? Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? So chapter three, Martin gets a job. Two churches, one in Massachusetts and one in New York, wanted Martin to become their minister. While Martin was deciding which job to take, another letter came from the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. The church, which had no minister, invited Martin to come down and preach. On a clear winter day in January 1954, Martin set out to visit the church in Alabama. All right, so Ireland is holding my phone in her hand because we have a pedometer set no, on there. I <laughs> And what are we doing today, Ireland? We are going to walk a mile. Yes, we're going to walk a mile because we have been studying uh, who was Martin Luther King Jr. in our history Over class. And we learned today about a little girl. So we've been learning a lot about segregation and civil rights and stuff like that. And so we learned about a little girl named Linda Brown and how she had to walk because she couldn't go. The only school that was close to her was an all white school. And so she had to walk a mile every day to get to her school. And her parents took it to, um, I'm looking for Matt because he's following us in the car in case she gets super tired. but. Um, after we make our mile. Anyway, she went to the Supreme Court with her, or her parents went to the Supreme Court and they won the court case so that she wouldn't have to walk so far every day. So we're taking a walk for a mile yep. to see just how far she had to walk every day. Do you think okay. you're gonna be tired? No. No? I usually have to walk a long time without being tired. But now remember, she had to walk a that mile. far to school and that far home. just fascinated by all the things she's finding in our town that she's never noticed before. What's this? This, I think, is super cool Whoa. though, you guys. Whoa, Isn't that look neat? how pretty that bottle is. That is really cool. It's a fish. It is! <laughs> it's so cool. So tell me what you think now about walking a mile to school. Uh. That's now do you understand? Yes. Yeah. It's exhausting and now my legs hurt. <laughs> I need to shake them out, shake them out. We had to reward a day of hard work that was, that was with exciting. some time at the park. Not all the kids wanted to come to the park that today, but these black. two did, so. That one is black and that one is yellow. And yeah. Is oh, you're right. It is darker, isn't it? This one. Come here. Come here, kids. Come in. You wanna play hot lava, Mama? Please? No. Two. One, two, three, come on, run! Hurry! We can run the hot lava. Maybe we could play the hot lava is coming from um, wait. Come on, it won't work! Uh, 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 come on, you can do it. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Do you want me to help? I think I'm going to be stuck. Um, 
Honey? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you on a swing before. Yeah, well, two hours on the phone with Sprint and drive you to do crazy things. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just spent the last couple of hours in the emergency room in there. Of course we did not film because it was an actual emergency. What happened to you my dear? I, I don't know if you can see her back there guys. I fell off the equipment. Yeah, you guys, she fell off the equipment at the park and literally landed on her neck and back. It was... So I had been filming just a few minutes earlier and then all of a sudden she just, she went by ambulance up to the hospital. It and it was uh, about a six foot fall. So, well, they they actually said about seven foot. About what seven they feet. That yeah. Yeah. So she fell on her neck. Her head hit and her back. And at first she got up, and we're like, okay. And then she fell again. And we're like, oh my goodness. So yeah, she got to ride in an ambulance. Yeah, her first ambulance ride, and hopefully the last one she'll ever have to take. Yeah, your seatbelt on, Ray. Yeah.